Hey what's going on guys my name is Cody and welcome back to another reaction video where today we are actually going to be looking at Fight Scene Autopsy, The Last Jedi Throne Room, Star Wars, Shadowversity. Now I really do enjoy Shadowversity, he makes really cool in-depth analysis about swords and fighting styles and medieval stuff that I'm really interested into and if you like this kind of medieval nitty gritty really picky type things then make sure to hit that subscribe button, also the like button, also the notification bell, and as well as subscribe to Shadowversity. And without that being said, let's begin. Shadowversity. Greetings, I'm Shad, and welcome to a new series on my channel called Fight Scene Autopsy, the most pedantic deconstruction of pop culture fight scenes here on YouTube. And I really mean that. We're going to be looking at this fight scene scene by scene. Every single maneuver done by the combatants here, I'm going to be assessing to see how viable, effective it is from the lens of actual historical swordsmanship. Now, if you are unfamiliar with me or my channel, I'll simply state that I am a medieval weapons and armor enthusiast. I have actually studied swordsmanship and combat for many years. I have several videos on my channel of myself sparring with others and exploring the intricacies of swordsmanship. Now, I have seen people like stuntmen reviewing fight scenes, even people who do fencing, but fencing is actually somewhat removed from authentic historical swordsmanship. And on top of that, I haven't seen any of those videos go into the level of detail that I'm going to go into. We're going to be breaking down these fight scenes frame by frame if we have to. And as you've been able to tell from the title of this video, we are going to be starting with one of the bigger, more controversial fight scenes in recent memory. The throne room fight scene from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, I have made no secret of my hatred for The Last Jedi. But I will say, when I first saw this fight scene in the cinemas, I enjoyed it. And that is because it is a lot of movement. It's hard to pay attention to the very specific techniques that they do. Something certainly stood out, and there is, of course, some very egregiously massive holes. But when you're just watching this fight scene, not paying attention, it is easy to enjoy. It's when you pay attention to everything that's going on, well, we see some major problems. So let's get right into it. We start off with a big, epic, slow-motion shot of Rey and Kylo Ren facing off against these Imperial Guard. By the way, I'm not sure if these guys were actually called the Imperial Guard, because uh, the First Order is in the Empire, and so the First Order Guard, Snoke's Guard... I don't care, I'm calling them the Imperial Guard, okay? Now, the first thing that we notice here is that neither Rey nor Kylo are using any guard positions. They're just holding their swords to their side. That's not good. The Imperial Guard are moving in and they don't really have any guard positions either. And on top of that, what we're seeing here is some very big telegraphs. And oh my goodness, that guy coming in to fight Kylo is telegraphing massively as well. Do you see this guy with the double knife spear thing coming to attack Rey? He is leading in with his shoulder, just basically trying to tell Rey. And I think actually this is a filmmaking thing. This is the stuntman trying to tell Ridley Scott, yes, I'm coming in to attack, so you need to be on point to defend. Now, Rey just led in with a big wide swing of her own, looking at this frame by frame, really telegraphing her own hit as well. Now, the first guy that just attacked Kylo here is knocked off to the side, so he's kind of flailing away. So Rey just knocked aside the second guy that attacked her, and the first Imperial Guard, he was knocked back way too much than the force of the strike indicated there. Weapons just simply tapped each other. It wasn't something so big where it was knocked back a full few steps. Kylo knocks aside his second opponent, and the guy who's standing behind them, right in the middle, is doing nothing. There's quite a big opening there. It seems like he's, again, waiting for Kylo to get done with the first guy. Oh, now I'll attack you. Again, the stuntmen kind of coming in one at a time. So this front guy, he's just spinning his sword around. He spun it to the side, does a pirouette, and within that time, he could have easily closed the distance and just killed Rey, whose back is facing him right now. Okay, so now the guy with the spear comes in at Kylo, and Kylo ducks him. 
But what is he doing with this sword? He's just holding it off to the side. If Kylo had just brought his sword out in front of him as this Imperial Guard swung wildly overhead and stepping forward because he's thrown all his weight into it, he would have just walked right past Kylo's lightsaber and chopped his own legs off, perhaps. Depending on if the armor actually protected them in those instances, because the armor in this fight scene is so arbitrary for when it protects them and when it doesn't. So look at this Imperial Guard who is closest to the camera at the moment about to strike Ray, watch what happens with his attack. He's moving in, and look, he purposefully misses. Are these the Imperial Guard or not? Are they supposed to be talented? I really think my one-year-old son wouldn't have missed that strike. He's playing with swords already, and he's getting pretty good at it. He would not have missed that hit. There is a lot happening here, and so when I'm focusing on one of the Imperial Guards, I don't really see what the others are doing. So we're going to go back a little bit and check what this Imperial Guard to the very far left is doing with his staff thing. He swings it down, and he misses too! <laughs> He had a big blade swing coming right down, but Rey, her lightsaber, is almost hitting Kylo. It's pointed right behind her, and so both of these Imperial Guards, they are forced to miss their attacks because Rey just sucks. Or should I say the stuntmen were forced to miss their attacks because Daisy Ridley perhaps missed her timing? Was this actually choreographed that two highly trained Imperial Guard just fully missed their strikes against their opponent when their opponent is fully open? So if we're looking at this in-world, from what we are seeing from the Imperial Guard, they are horrible at fighting, and so is Rey at this point. Now Rey is moving in, and she hits low, and she strikes the guy's spear? It looks like she's hitting the guy's spear at the moment. And they get knocked back from some big epic whatever thing. And then she uh, connects with them once again. Now let's look at what Kylo's been doing amongst that. Oh, interesting. So this was another Imperial Guard coming in off to the left, lunging in towards Kylo from his side vision. He leans back and just, just knocks it off. Still no guard position. And is off balance. And then this is interesting. He brings his sword down and he stabs it into the ground to block what? Like these Imperial Guards that are now aiming for his lightsaber? See, look where the Imperial Guard's weapon is right now. It's high. Kylo just put his sword down. If the Imperial Guard is paying attention, just attack high and Kylo is dead. But instead, he swings low, aiming for the lightsaber. Come on. Ray spins around comes to the defense of uh, Kylo and stabs forward. And these guys off to their left here, they're just, I don't, I don't know, they're doing nothing. Ray, her back is open to them. They're just kind of standing around from being knocked back from some small strike that Ray did. Now she turns to face them, good. They're coming down, she lifts her lightsaber and blocks all three. But hang on. Is she actually blocking all three? Let's check to try and confirm this. He's coming in and... Uh, yes, it's underneath the lightsaber. What is this guy here hitting to stop his strike? This dagger thing has a free open shot to Ray's head. Why hasn't it been blocked? It's just stopped because choreography, right? And who is Ray kicking? She's kicking the centermost Imperial Guard and all three of them get knocked back back. Seeing this, she's kicking the center one, yet all three Imperial Guard seem to be getting kicked back by this one kick, which is only hitting one of the Imperial Guard. So let's check what Kylo was doing during this three high attack thing with against Rey, where one of the Imperial Guard's weapons don't even hit her lightsaber, and yet it was being held there like it was hitting nothing. Kylo's obviously doing something. His lightsaber is holding off, uh, what is this? Is that, that's like a weapon glaive by one of the Imperial Guard. Guard, and then the other Imperial Guard, okay, Kylo's holding the other Imperial Guard's weapon to Kylo's left, he's holding that weapon at bay, and the Imperial Guard foremost of the camera who was engaging Kylo has been knocked down, and so Kylo knocks that weapon aside, pushes that other guy away, he's coming down with a big strike, and okay, so that guy there is dead. Okay, big pet peeve time. I can't stand this in fight scenes. I can't stand it when one of the combatants strikes their opponents without their weapon. So they, they punch, they hit somewhere, and the punch connects. It actually connects, which implies that their opponent had a guard down. They were vulnerable. So the question 
question is, why didn't they just use their weapon instead of punching, okay? If they actually struck their opponent with the weapon instead of their fist, their opponent would be dead. And this is what we see right here. Kylo, he is facing this Imperial Guard who is completely open. No guard position, his front chest head wide open. Kylo's lightsaber is held low. All he needs to do is bring the lightsaber up to strike the Imperial Guard and he will kill them. But instead, he decides to elbow him all the while holding his lightsaber down doing nothing okay he decides i'm going to elbow this guy because elbowing and punching is clearly more effective than this laser sword that can chop through steel